Industrialization in Franklin County is starting to show up on our roads, streets, and highways. Hello everyone, I'm Olivia Hires, and this is part two of a series on traffic in the county. In part one, we saw traffic on Winchester's Dinosaur Boulevard, the, the, the Davy Crockett Highway, Cowan Bypass, and of course, the Winchester Square. Today, we look at Decker traffic starting here at Wagner Creek, the dividing line between the two cities. This bridge is where Dinosaur Boulevard ends and Deckard Boulevard begins. There's more than three miles of businesses on these two boulevards and shoppers spend almost a million dollars a day and generate almost a million dollars a month in sales tax revenues. The money is a significant factor in budgets for county government and the five municipalities. Almost a thousand cars an hour go up and down this road, stopping in local and chain stores to drive our economy. At the intersections of Sharp Springs Road, 41A, and State Route 127, or the Lake Road if you prefer, those thousand cars an hour spill onto those three roads. But while in the vicinity, these vehicles and their drivers are spending money for goods, services, and even newer used cars. By any measure, these firms mean business, and good business means less pressure on property taxes to pay for government services. There are traffic issues common any time you get more than one driver on the road, and traffic control isn't as good as it could be. Deckard is responsible for traffic control and signals, and doesn't always have the revenue to pay for enhanced lighting or other safety features for its roads. But these three plus miles continue to host businesses that bring tax revenues to local government, and to them, that's a big deal. Next, a look at Cowan. For The Buzz, I'm Olivia Hires. 